Okay, so here is a simple container kind of shape that I've made in Fusion. Um, basically, as you can see, all I've done really is I've made a cube, I've cut out a kind of doorway, a couple of windows, and I've made two extra components which are kind of like shelves, and then I've just positioned them there um, as, uh, as joints. So if I just take you through that process step by step, all I've done is I've started with my sketch and extruded at the base. I've drawn the edges and extruded those up. I've cut through using sketches and extrusions. I've done the same for the doorway at the end there, you can see. I've made some um, square some rectangle shapes, changed the colour and the material on them, rounded them off using fillets. Same thing for this side one, and then I've just used joints to position them where I want them. Now, when I get to this point, what I need to do is, I've obviously saved this, and if I look over here, I've created a roof, which is exactly the same size. So I've done this as a separate file, so I've got an, a roof piece. Now, the reason I've done that is that when I put this into Sweet Home, I want to be able to put it in without a roof on, so I can see inside it to put my furniture in. When I've got my furniture inside, or people inside, whatever I want inside my cafeteria, then I can put the lid on top. And in Sweet Home I can decide whether this lid is a different colour, I can decide whether it's visible or invisible when I do my renders and so on, but it makes much more sense to have two separate models, the main body of the container and then the roof. So that's what I've done. And for both of them, once I've actually created the model, so when I'm happy with the way that it looks, and I think it's the right size and so on, all I do is I've got this add-in here called, uh, which is basically a Collada exporter. Now um, that's been provided for you, you just double click to install it and it will appear like this on your version of Fusion. When your design is saved and you're ready to go, just do a user save just to make sure this one's okay, you literally hit the, this little icon here and it will ask you where you want to put it. So I've got a folder called Fusion Files there. I'm just going to call this one something like Container No Roof. Okay, you can see that this set as a Collada type DAE. So I literally hit save and it will have saved that file for me. So you can see in here that that's the Collada file I've just created, ready to be used. And I've also made some archive backups of my fusion files so not just are they saved on the cloud I've also exported them as these F3D files which you can do from inside fusion um, very simply by coming up here and going um, export and if you go into export you can choose F3D and you can save it to your own computer which is what I've done just in case I need to go back to it at some other point so I've done exactly the same thing now with the roof, I've exported the roof as a, as a Collada file as well and in the next video I'm going to show you how to bring those into Sweet Home.